Hey guys, I am so excited for today's video because not only is it actually going to be my first sale, it's actually going to be my first Black Friday sale video. Oh, okay, wait, yeah. you've never done a Black Friday sale, how come? Well, you know, I was thinking about it, honey, and when I was little, my great-grandmother one time, she said to me, you know, little ginger boy, she used to call me little ginger boy, um, there are two kinds of people in the world, people who like to give, especially around Thanksgiving, and there are people who hate carpondros. And you're both. And, you know, that just really touched me. <laughs> Didn't you also tell me that your great-grandmother was a bit of a drinker? Oh, oh yeah. She, a, a raging alcoholic. I have no idea what she said. Plus, it was really loud in the bar. But all that matters is we're going to have a sale today. Hey guys, welcome to video number 59. You love this green Sanzinia girl? I did not get this girl bred to last year. I got a lot of breeding going on this season. We'll see what actually takes, including this green Sanzinia pair. They've been locked up nonstop. She's under the heat. She's doing all the right things. So again, just keep your fingers crossed for me. The female I tried last year, who I thought was grab, I'm giving her the year off. I want to get her weight back on. Anyway, welcome to video number 59. And I'm actually going to do a sale today. I've never actually done this before. And I want to be perfectly clear. The animals I'm going to show you today that I'm, I'm putting on sale, They've never been advertised before. You've never seen these animals. They are not on Morph Market. Well, they're on Morph Market right now, but I just want you guys to think it's a case of they've been sitting for months and I'm gonna lower the price on them. It's not that at all. You guys have seriously spoiled me whenever I put a video out. My animals sell really quickly. So I'm just basically, I'm knocking $200 off the price of each of these animals. And I'm not gonna do multiple animal discounts, but I will do, if you buy two animals, I'll knock, of course, the price of shipping off of one of the animals. So I'm gonna show you guys diamond pythons today. It's gonna be five baby diamond pythons. If you remember a few videos back, I did a box opening of baby diamond pythons I had received my, from my friend Darren Dugan. So they all sold very quickly, but I purposely held five females back. My plan was to hold on to them for a few months, take them to a few shed cycles, and actually post them for considerably more money. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to show them to you guys today, and you're going to have to use your imagination. They're super pretty. They're not as pretty as they're going to be in a few months, but I'll show you the parents, and you can tell they're going to be exceptional animals. So I'm marking those down just for the purpose of this video. And I'm going to show you some green tree pythons today, too, some Tamika Aru crosses. There's five yellow babies from two different clutches. Again, they've never been posted anywhere before, and I'm knocking $200 off of the regular price onto those. And as far as this video, I'm calling it a Black Friday sale. I'm not sure when it's gonna come out. I'm hoping it comes out on Black Friday. It might be Black Saturday, it might be Black Sunday. I have no idea. But I think as a definitive end date for the sale, I'm gonna call it, let's call it December 2nd. I'm gonna put the ads on Morph Market. And if the animals are not sold by December 2nd, I'm gonna take them off at that price. And I promise you, I will never go back to the sale price again. It's not like something where you can get back to me in a month from now and say, hey, can I get the sales price? I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Because especially at that time, I'm gonna have a lot more size and the color is going to come out more on all of these animals. So enough of my babbling. Why don't we start this video off by showing you guys the five female diamond pythons I am making available for the purposes of the sale for this video. Okay, guys, let's start out with these five female diamond pythons. Again, all the detail you guys want and need and deserve are going to be in the ad on Morph Market under GS Reptiles, of course. Um, these are all produced by my friend Darren Dugan out in California. I bought the entire clutch from him. Again, you can go back to a, a previous video and watch when I did the unboxing of the entire clutch from exceptional adults. You know, I always tell you, I get offered a lot of animals all the time um, to broker for other people, sell for other people. I'm super fussy on what I buy, trust me. I would never offer to you guys stuff I wouldn't consider keeping for myself. So these are exceptional animals. They're San Diego Zoo stock. Again, all the lineage information is in the ad. Here's a picture of the male and the female. The male is a reduced pattern animal. The babies are not reduced pattern, but the, the male, the sire, is reduced pattern animal. They're like black and white. They're exceptional. And all these females are on, they have, all of them have at least 15 plus meals into them. Frozen thawed rat fuzzies. And they are gonna be posted for $17.50 a piece. That includes shipping, $17.50 a piece. Typically I would sell them even at this size, lone females, $19.50 a piece. So it's $200 off. And again, if you bought two or more, it's an additional $50 off for shipping. Let's just show you these animals really quickly. This is female. You could already see. Now you have to have use your imagination. You could tell that's going to be a gorgeous animal, guys. You could see the diamond pattern already started. But as far as the color, like any carpets, it just doesn't come out for a little while. They look like brown little dirt worms right now. Um, you can see how pretty they are. So that's what I typically would do. I would hold them back for a few more sheds for a few more months when the color really comes out. 
And then I would post them on Morph Market at a much higher price, like literally starting in the $2,000 plus range easily. And because uh, when people see the color, that's when they really tend to jump on them. But if you can use your imagination, you can save yourself a lot of money and you could buy them now and you could take them through the color changes yourself. So that is female. Again, there's a total of five. I pulled out three random ones. That's female. It's number one. Can you zoom in on this girl right here, baby? That's female number four. So you can get a sense of her. They all look pretty similar. People ask me when I pick out diamonds, what do I look for? You know, I look for great feeders, but I really like it's a more broken up pattern, but these all have pretty good broken up patterns. This is female number nine. She's a really pretty girl. That's female number nine. So like I said, I just picked out three random animals. They are $17.50 a piece shipped. They're on Morph Market. And I'm gonna keep them, I'll keep the ads up until December 3rd. I'm gonna put her away really quickly because I wanna show you guys something else for a second. If you recall, I had a clutch of, well, like two years ago, I produced jungle carpets. And when I posted them on, on uh, Morph Market, they're nothing to look at, guys. They're just not, especially because I think my adult female jungle carpet, she's not all that. She's not exceptional. But the bloodline, she's a Michael Beach bloodline. She throws amazing babies. But just look, these are now a year old. And I just want to show you guys how pretty, like, look how crazy. Because I'm, I'm using an example with the diamond pythons. When you see these diamond pythons out about, can you zoom in on her, honey, how pretty she is? So if you can imagine these diamond pythons when they're about a year old, guys, and have gone through the sheds, you're going to know how exceptional they are. You just, like I said, you have to use your imagination when you're buying baby carpets or baby diamonds because they don't look their best when they're babies. Last thing I want to tell you for those intimidated by diamond pythons, diamond pythons are super simple to keep. I know we talk about cooler temperatures with them. I keep them at... Uh, uh, hot spot of about 83, 84 degrees. It's really, they're just like any carpet python, super easy to take care of. They'll eat like pigs. Again, these are all on frozen thawed rat fuzzies already. The only difference is really if you're gonna breed them, you have to be able to cool your males down significantly, typically down to the low 50 degree temperature. As far as keeping them husbandry, super simple to keep, don't be intimidated by them. So again, these are all on Morph Market, go check them out. And I'm gonna show you guys some baby green tree pythons that are available now that I've never showed you guys before. Hey guys, the next thing I want to offer in this video are some, they're Tamika locality, uh, cross, cross with uh, Aru. Wild, so it's a wild caught Tamika male and a wild caught uh, blue uh, Aru female, okay? So the bottom line is these are two different clutches. There's actually three of these yellow ones. I just picked two of them just for fitting on the table. And there are two of these uh, from the first clutch. I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna put up a picture of the adults from this clutch right now. This is the original clutch of Tamika cross Aru babies. If you've been watching my videos, I made some of these avail babies available last year. I don't know what the yellow ones turned out like. I sold some yellow ones last year. If you bought a yellow one for me, I'd love to send me a picture. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see what they turned out to be. But the red ones, the red siblings from the, this specific pair of Tamika Arus turned out exceptional. And again, I'm gonna put as much detail as I can in the ad on Morph Market. If you could, this one on here is, is number Y01. It's TR24Y01. This one is TR24Y02. These are siblings. And again, this is from the original Tamika male, which is an exceptional animal, locality animal, crossed with a blue Aru female. And what I'm gonna do really quickly is this, I'm gonna show you right now. This is a full sibling to both of these. It's just a year older, and this, is, this was a red baby, okay? This is a pretty exceptional animal. I just wanna be perfectly clear with you guys. Do I think these two yellow babies are going to turn out as nice as this red full sibling? No, I don't think that at all, but you do have the genes in here with these two yellow babies, okay? So what I would do, anybody who's interested in these animals, I would take one of these yellow babies and I would breed it into a nice high blue uh, designer line uh, of a red, specifically to an animal that was a red neonate. So putting the yellow into the red. Um, I love yellow neonates for that reason. As I said before, they're far more reasonably priced than uh, red neos and you still get the same genetics. I would just take the red baby and, and breed it into a blue line. If you, you know, everybody has a different budget, right? If you have, if, you, if money is no, um, problem for you, then always buy red babies, right? But if you're looking to get into a project with great genes at a discounted price, yellow babies are a great way to go just to get the genetics and then breed it into what I would breed into as, as a red baby. So these are from that original Tamika male I just showed you the picture of with that blue female. These babies are related to those, but it's the same male. They both have the same father, but a completely different um, Aru female, okay? And again, I have, I have no idea what they're gonna look like, but I can tell you, every one of these babies are kicking butt on frozen thawed fuzzy mice. 
Typically, I would post these animals for $1,650 a piece, $1,650 a piece. They're going to be listed for $1,450 each. And again, I know I'm going to sound like a sales guy here, and I apologize because I don't want to come across that way. But if it were me, and I was looking to get into this project, so I told you what I would do. I would buy one of these yellow babies. I would breed it into a, a blue line red male to get that Tamika and that Aru, that high blue coloration, into the next generation. Or I would buy one yellow baby from each clutch and breed them together and see what that would turn out and just line breed them, basically the Tamika line with the Aru line. I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you guys right now, but I'm just kind of giving you my thought process. When I buy babies, typically I don't buy one or two. A lot of times I'll buy a group because I'm just trying to increase and hedge my bets, right? So again, these are all Tamika Aru crosses. They're all from wild caught adults. And the thing about wild caught adults, guys, is the phenotype on wild caught adults I'm going to give an example here. Look at like a, uh, an Aru animal, an Aru locality, green tree python. When you see those wild caught Arus come into the country, typically they are far more high white than if you see a captive bred Aru. We don't know why they have such a strong, like in the case of Arus, why are they so much more high white than a captive bred one? We think it probably has something to do with natural sunlight, vitamin D, maybe their diet. We don't know specifically, but that's why I could tell you the adults of all these animals, they're right out of the wild, you know, wild caught animals and the coloration on them is exceptional, which is what attracted me to this offspring and get these babies into my hands and get them to you guys. So again, everything here will be on Morph Market. They're $14.50 a piece. You buy two or more, obviously I'll pay for shipping on them and hopefully I answered all your questions and uh, that's pretty much it. Hey guys, this is part of a group. Um, a, uh, it's 1.3 diamond uh, jaguar diamond jungle jaguar siblings that i purchased from my friend martin roseman i have again one male and three females i have big plans for this uh project this the, the color is just beginning to come out on this animal it's going to be exceptional and i plan to breed one of these into a pure diamond one of them into a pure jungle and then i plan to breed one back to a male and just make you know more jack siblings like this but Anyway, I'm always telling you guys I got to cut back. I'm out of space, but I'm an addict just like you guys are. I'm a snake junkie and I keep buying more animals. Guys, I hope you enjoyed video number 59. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving, spending time with your family. If I don't see you before the end of the new year, have a happy new year. And as always, do me a favor, guys. Say a quick prayer for my great-grandmother. Who has the best YouTube channel? Me?